we have drawn to our treatment center people from uh, communities of color, you know, like including some from the South side. And I just remember like some of what was happening if clinicians didn't like really work, really work to help them to um, feel like this center is for you, like this treatment is for you because that white patient over there cried when you said this, that doesn't mean that you're silenced, you know, like what are you feeling? and thinking and even bringing in concepts like about white fragility to be able to teach some basic things to our clinicians and our patients so that we have a common language that's more about equity and inclusion and not only about diversity. So I think that we have with the way that our world is right now, there's no way to not have um, to not see things on a grand scale and think about like, if we don't speak these things, like people aren't gonna feel like connected with us. Like that's their experience. They don't always have the words. And that's one thing that we do for trauma survivors anyway, is like bring a new language that they didn't have. And so the language really needs to expand to hit all of these experiences. <laughs>